What is going on, all you sexy zombie slaying subscribers of mine? Right away, you're going to notice that it is a new game, Gears of War 3. I've not posted any of this. This is the very first time I ever played Horde, and yes, I do die on round 2 like a boss. But I wanted to use... I wanted to make a video announcing that I finally did get a PS3, uh, got games for it finally, and I've got the map packs for all the zombie maps and all that stuff for Black Hacks. Uh, so I wanted to make an announcement video, and I just bought Gears of War 3 tonight, so I figured, what in the hell, I will play Gears of War, play a little bit of Horde mode, and then, uh, you know, announce the PS3 that way. <clears throat> you are going to notice that I am <clears throat> really rusty, sorry. And I'm very sick in real life. Uh, you could probably tell from the live comms that I've had going up, you know, with the uh, um, DES, the DES map, and the um, the other one. Yeah, Dollhouse 2. You could probably tell that my voice is, and I keep clearing my throat and all that stuff. I apologize. And dude, sh check this out right here. You see these little crab things right there? I did not even notice those in games. That's just something they added in Gears of War 3. And I don't even notice them there. And then here in a minute, I started getting monkey punched by them. I'm like, what the French toast? And I turn around, I'm like... All shat, but, you know, that was just something I, I didn't know was in Horde. Um, but, guys, I did get a PS3. I accepted all the friend requests that I had on there. It took me about a half hour. My friends list is now full. Uh, but, you know, I will be removing people to add my personal friends. And some guys that I play with that I just find cool. Um, you know, so if you guys are on there now and you do get removed, I apologize. You know, I just added everybody. Um, you know, I, I'm playing, I'll try to play with most of you, but, you know, I don't play as that much, so if I don't ever get to play with you and you get removed, I'm sorry, but, you know, I just got buddies and stuff like that. I need to get on there, so pay attention for some PS3 sub days where I get you guys in there and all that good stuff. Um, but, yeah, I got a PS3. I got some sub days planned where I'll be playing with you. I do have all the zombie maps. I, uh, a friend of mine <coughs> bought the maps for me. <coughs> A lot of people were bringing up this game share. I don't even really know what that is. I heard it's illegal, and uh, I don't do anything illegal, you know. So uh, I bought, no, he bought them for me. Such a kind fella. Uh, but anyways, I got all the zombie maps now and uh, all that stuff. So the PS3 announcement is in the books, and I'm going to tell you right now, I really enjoyed playing Horde. I actually played up to like round seven. And then I just got off to do this commentary. Uh, yes, I was rusty, but I'm actually a decent uh, Gears of War, you know, Gears of War in general player. Uh, so, you know, don't take this as like, dude, Yoda, you are a noob. Because in this, I am a noob. This is the first time ever playing Gears of War 3, especially the Horde mode. It took me 10 minutes just to get into a Horde mode game. You want to know why? Do you want to know why? Because I kept trying to do it online when I didn't have my Ethernet cable plugged in. And it kept saying that I had to have an Xbox Live account. I didn't know you had to go to private to start it. So it took me 10 minutes just to figure out how to do that. But I finally prevailed. And I finally got in here. And, you know, this was my first game. Technically, I'm lying to you. It's not my first game of Horde. I did play one before this. But I played it for like a minute. And did not like the sawed-off shotgun at all. So I uh, quit and then got the Nasher shotgun out. Um... A couple things I want to point out with Gears of War 3 that I see different from all the other Gears of War, especially Horde mode from Gears of War 2 to Gears of War 3. It seems a lot more difficult. This is normal, but it seems like the uh, like not the zombies, like the like these dudes, they want to come after you a lot more than they did in Gear War Gears of War 2, and I definitely welcome the added difficulty. I can't imagine this on insane difficulty. You know, on Gears of War 2, me and my buddies, we'd rock out with some insane difficulty and all that good stuff. On this... I have a feeling it's going to be pretty difficult, but, you know, it, it can be done. I know it can be done, but, like, solo-wise, ain't going to happen, man. If you can beat this solo, you're going to die. There's no way you're not going to get around dying. But if you can complete, oh, dude, you're a boss if you can. Straight up, you're a boss. But here in just a second, you're going to see, I'm gonna die, uh, see me die. And this is one thing that I can't stand, and this is the one thing I'm going to point out right now. It seems like... In, the controls are not very responsive. Like right here, I, I roll and I try to two-piece him, but it didn't let me two-piece when I came out of the roll. And unfortunately, he smacked me in the back with his uh, uh, whatever gun he had and then killed me. But <clears throat> I changed my sensitivity here. I play with pretty much the highest on any game. I always start out, like on Gears of War 2, I started out playing with the highest difficulty. Then I bumped it down to about three-quarters difficulty. But right here, I was just like, fuck it. I'm going to go up all the way, see what it's like. And I ended up doing pretty a uh, little bit better. I'm just used to the high sensitivity and stuff like that. And 
I don't know. It just didn't seem like the controls were very responsive to me when I'm playing. I'm not sure, but I definitely had a lot of fun. And I'll be getting you guys on here to do some live comms on Horde mode. Maybe we can do a series like Road to Round 50 or Wave 50, whatever they're called. If there's even 50 waves in here. I know there was on Gears 2. Uh, so maybe we can do that and we'll just do a series. One night we just play and I'll post the whole series on my channel because this is a lot of fun. And I've had tons and tons of people ask me to do this. I just wasn't you know really that into it but tonight i was at walmart you know i was like you know what i'm gonna buy gears of war 3 play some horde mode with aces and stuff like that he went he ended up going to bed early tonight because he's got a job interview so he left me all alone there's no one here beside me uh <clears throat> yeah don't know where that came from uh so i just figured i'd do it on my you know on my own i also did my rage i'm not going to be doing a let's play like i initially thought i would you know it's been out like a week or two anyways i just held off on buying it because a lot of people said it wasn't as good as what it, it was expected to be. So, you know, I didn't want to go spend 60 bucks on the game. I thought maybe it was a rent game, uh, but I ended up buying it tonight. It was just like one of those things where I was at Walmart. I told him to get me Gears of War 3, and Rage was right next to him in case. And you know, I was like, dude, give me Rage 2. You know, you know how it is. You guys been there, done that. It's like it's called impulse spending or in, impulse buying. I don't know. Impulse something. And that's what happened to me tonight. So hopefully it's a good game. Um, me and Aces are actually going to play, start on the insane uh, campaign on this, probably tomorrow night. Um, I, I have not beat it on Hardcore. I know on Gears of War 2 you had to beat it on Hardcore to unlock Insane. But I think if somebody invites you that's already beaten it on Hardcore, which Aces has, you can go into Insane mode. So that's what we're going to try to do tomorrow. So it'll, be, it'll probably be fun. I'm thinking of recording the entire time. And then do like a rage montage because, you know, you guys have seen it in my live comms and stuff like that. I rage and I start getting really pissed off. So I thought it would be funny just to give me, get a montage of me yelling and cussing him out and all that stuff. You know how it is. So I might record the whole thing and then do like a rage moments of Gears of War 3 campaign on Insane. I think it sounds pretty beast. Um, but right here I pick up the sniper basically just to use it. I realized right away it was a stupid idea to get rid of the shotgun because I really love two-piecing people. It's not going to happen as easy in this as it does in Gears of War 2 because the difficulty is upped a lot in this. They, they actually come hunting you it seems like. In Gears 2 there would be times where you'd be sitting there like, dude, where the f are they, man? They ain't even coming. Well, not on this one, man, and it's pretty awesome. I've, I've got to say I really like it. The map, dude, everything looks beautiful. Like this, The game just looks... It's pretty, it's pretty jizzable in my opinion. I just got to get used to it and then start beasting it out and show you guys some gameplay. It's like when I recorded this, I was like, should I post this or should I not? Fuck it, I'll post it. It's my very first game. So they can see what it's like, uh, you know, to go in there and get smoked and all that good stuff. I died on wave two. Come on now. Um, but, but be prepared. I'll probably don't bring you some decent stuff. But anyways, what I was saying... I uh, picked up the sniper rifle just to test it out. And right here, check this out. Pfft, nothing. It was right on his face. That's one thing I hate about gears. All the sniper rifles. I've never really liked sniping on gears. And it's just because it's like, I think the hit spot is like the size of a nickel in their face. Because I've, I've done that so many times. The crosshair would be red and everything. And then I just don't get the headshot. Happened to me. It happens to me in all the gears. I think the first gears ever, you know, just like gears of war was the like the hit detection and everything on that was just so awesome gears of war the very first one in my opinion online was the best online i played the beta of this and i didn't really care for it yes it's got dedicated servers but i personally could not tell a difference when i played the beta um i don't know it could be good i'll try it out maybe don't expect any gameplays of it because uh this is definitely one game that i does make me rage online only because you know, and it could be better. I don't know how the dedicated servers are now that the game came out. You know, I'm sure they would have fixed and did stuff like that. But in Gears of War 2, that was so host advantage. Like, I would rage so bad. We've all been there, done that. You go up to 2P somebody and you hit them twice and they don't even hit you and then they, you know, just splatter you. Yeah, dude. it's It was so host advantage that I just, that game, if you ever want to hear me rage, put me, in, I can't play more than two games, I promise you. If I play like Annex or King of the Hill, it's different. But like all my buddies, they want to play Warzone and Execution, stuff like that, where you're dead, you're done. Dude, I'd be so pissed because I, I, I'm the type, I just want to go get it, man. 
I don't want to sit back. I don't want to sit there and wait around the corner, wait for somebody to come, then two-piece them as they walk around. I just want to go get in the action. And in Annex and King of the Hill, I can do that. It's like domination. I can go get some kills, die, respawn, go get some kills, and, you know, rinse and repeat. Also, with Annex and King of the Hill, you can pattern the way the other players are playing. You know, when Warzone, stuff like that, it's like search and destroy. You don't know what routes they're going to take. You don't know where they're going to be and stuff like that. You know, by the third, fourth round, if it goes that far into the fourth round, or, you know, beyond the fourth round, you got the patterns done. You know what they're going to be doing. And, you know, you can, you know, work with it. You know, and the same thing with Warzone and stuff like that. If you die, you're dead. And I just want to rush, get some kills, stuff like that. So that's why I do Annex and King the Hill. But don't expect any multiplayer games of it. Because Gears of War is just rage-inducing for me. Like, I just... Show me a little baby monkey. Like, I mean, a baby monkey. Just came out of the vajaj. <laughs> the vajaj. The vagina. The va I said that. I fucked it all up. I, was gonna, I don't know what I was going to say. But, dude, I will fucking punch it in the face. A baby monkey just dropped out of the vag. There we go. That made up for the, all my fucking bloops. Uh, whatever that means. But I will punch it in the fucking face. That's how pissed off I get playing Gears of War. Um, but... I don't know. Don't know what this map's called, but I did find this spot right here, as you can see. And it seems like this would be the place to hold out. I picked up, like, the one shot or something like that on, like, round five. And it's pretty cool. It takes a little bit to lock on. And if somebody rushes you, like um, the little dude did, you're pretty much screwed because, you know, you're locked on and zoomed in and stuff like that. And I got fucked over. Uh, I was going to show you up to round five, but it just took way too long to play. Um, so I just cut it off here. But this is my first initial Gears of War 3 board mode. Altogether, Gears of War 3. So, yes, it looks really newbie, but it's just something I thought you guys might enjoy, like seeing my first ever game into it. I'm not a Gears of War uh, pro by any means, but I'm decent at it. And I'll try to get you some better gameplay, I promise. I just wanted to let you guys know, basically, that I got a PS3. We're going to get this going. We're going to be playing with you, playing some zombies. I'm going to do some Easter eggs because guess what? I don't have the Easter eggs done on uh, PS3, guys. I want to get all the zombie achievements. So we're going to have to go back to Kino, do the ballistic knife, the crossbow, all that stuff. We're going to have to go to Ascension, do all that stuff. Shangri-La, Call of the Dead, dude. We got to do it all. And I'm going to need your guys' help. So with that said, I'm going to end on that note. We got some PS3 days coming up. Uh, my friends list is full, but, you know, if I play with you and you're cool, you're probably going to be at it, bottom line, because at, at this point, I do not know any of my friends on PS3, and it's full. Um, so, yeah, be looking out for some PS3, guys. Uh, dates, stuff like that. Probably starting next week sometime. I'm not really sure. Uh, but this has been my very first Gears of War 3 experience. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to rate and subscribe. Yodi, signing out.